are you heading off to performing arts school or drama school? Well, if you are, this video is for you because I'm about to tell you 20 things that I wish I'd have known and I'd have been told before starting performing arts college. One, it's not going to be easy, but I can promise if you stick it out and if you love it, it's so worth it. Every day is an audition. Come and try your best to be on top form because at the end of the day, you're working with industry level professionals that are currently working out there in the business. And since graduating, a lot of my teachers are now casting the shows that I want to be in. So make sure that you're turning up every day and delivering your best, not only as a performer, but you're giving your best as a person. You don't have to take on every piece of advice you get. You'll get a lot of advice throughout your time at college or in drama school, and a lot of it will come from teachers, from peers, from the principals, and that's okay, but know that you don't have to take every single piece of advice you get on because art is subjective. And a lot of the time during my training, I got told things like I needed to push to the front and outshine my competition. And I knew I never wanted to get work that way. So I stayed true to myself and I worried that it would do me a disservice because I'd been given all this advice about having to outshine the competition and push to the front. And I didn't want to get it that way. But I've proven to myself, you don't have to be like that. You can stay true to who you are and still succeed. So if things don't sit right with you, if you're get given, getting given advice that you don't feel is beneficial or helpful, you don't have to take it on. Sometimes you need a day and that's okay. Remember that you need time to rest and recover, not only physically, but emotionally and mentally too. It's okay if you need a day. It's okay if you're off sick. I used to feel really guilty about it, but there's nothing you can do. Just make sure that you're resting and getting yourself ready so that you can go back and make the most of your time when you can train. But don't feel guilty, it's okay. Having a day is sometimes all you need. This leads me nicely onto point five. Remember that you're a human first and a performer second. At the end of the day, as a performer, your body is your tool. Not only is it your source of passion and your source of career, it's also gonna be your source of income very soon. You need to look after what you've got. You need to make sure it lasts so you can have a long and happy career. You don't have to like everyone. And not everyone has to like you and that's okay. That even though you may not like everyone or see why they're doing the things that they do. And this can go for teachers as well. There were a lot of teachers during my training that I didn't like the things they were promoting, the things they were trying to teach us and preach to us that we should do and we should be in the industry. I still showed them respect even though I struggled to understand and empathise with their values. And the reason I showed them respect was because it wasn't a reflection of their character, but a reflection of mine. And even though I did that, I still wanna go back and tell myself, yes, you're doing the right thing. Make sure that you show everyone respect, even if necessarily sometimes you don't feel like they deserve it, still show them that respect out of reflection of your character. There is sometimes favoritism at performing arts school. Like I say, art is subjective. So it's okay that people have favorites. There's always gonna be one thing that they prefer over another. But just remember, if you're not anyone's favorite, you don't have to be. Being a favorite means nothing in the real world. When you get out into the industry, it's not a direct reflection. Those people who are favorites in college are no more likely to work or succeed in the industry. That is not what determines success. Things like, are you driven? Are you passionate? Are you resilient? Are you proactive? Are you disciplined? Are you hardworking? Are you nice to work with? They're the things that get you far in this industry, not whether you're a favorite. Enjoy training with some of the best in the business. You're gonna be seeing lots of people who are working in the industry themselves as a performer, working in the industry as a creative. Maybe they're working as an agent or a casting director at the same time. You're gonna be hearing from some of the best of the best. And you're gonna be getting some of the best teachers in, not only that are gonna teach you about the industry, but also gonna develop your technique and get you to where you wanna be. So listen to them and enjoy learning from their wisdom. Be a sponge and soak it up and enjoy working with personalities 
because you never know what it could lead to in the future. Try and fail rather than fail to try. Sometimes trying new things are really scary and sometimes you're worried about what people would think or you're not sure whether to go for an opportunity or not. But let me reassure you, try and fail. It's okay to fail because that's how you learn, that's how you grow, that's how you develop and that's how you gain experience. So be okay with failing and starting somewhere new. Don't be afraid to be a beginner. Just go for it and take the opportunities that you can. This one is super important. Don't take opinions from someone you wouldn't get advice from. There were a lot of opinions that I took on that really affected me and I wanted to change and fit their opinion. But when I look back, they're not someone who I'd go to for insight. They're not someone I'd go to and ask questions and try and learn from and would feel like I could benefit from them. So if that's not the case, I shouldn't have really been worried about their opinion. If I wouldn't go to them for advice, why am I worrying what they think? So don't take opinions from someone you wouldn't get advice from. You're gonna hear people say, oh, I'm just being brutally honest. You're probably gonna hear that a lot. Whether it be from teachers, whether it be from students or peers, you might hear, oh, I'm just being brutally honest. And some people are doing it because they genuinely want to help and give really constructive feedback. But then there are some people who enjoy the brutality far more than they enjoy the honesty. So be aware of those kind of people. Some people will be brutally honest and be helpful and some people are just brutal. So don't feel like you have to listen to everything. Remember why you started. What made this passion burn inside of you? Because when times get tough, you need to remember why you started. And if you're feeling like that fire and that spark is going away, then do things to reignite your passion again. Make sure that you still love it because at the end of the day, we do it because it makes us happiest. So make sure that's still the driving force behind everything you do. Pick your battles. Now, you're spending a lot of time with not only the students, your peers, but you're also spending a lot of time with the teachers. You can often be tired. They can often be tired. There's a lot going on all the time. You're doing long days. And sometimes there can be friction or things that don't go the way that you think they should. And throughout my three years, I think people thought that I wouldn't stand up for myself. Whereas that wasn't true. I just didn't have a lot of energy and I wanted to make sure I was channeling my energy into the right things and not depleting even more of my energy. Remember that your body is your tool and some days things aren't gonna work how you hope they would. <laughs> some days you're not gonna get your legs high. Some days you're not gonna be able to hit the note you hit yesterday. Sometimes you're not gonna be able to bring up the right emotion. That's okay, you're a human. You're not a robot, you can't deliver the same exact thing every time. That's what makes us great as artists. So embrace that, even though sometimes it can feel frustrating. Remember that a bad day is okay. You're gonna have them. So just allow them to happen, breathe, move on, fresh day, fresh start. Throw yourself in, get involved. Don't be afraid to just go for things because that's how you improve the quickest. If you're not afraid to just go for it and give absolutely everything you have, even if you look a bit silly, don't care what other people think. Just go for it because that's how you improve quicker. So throw yourself in. That's something I really wish I should have done. I was so worried about what I looked like at first that I held back and I should have just made whatever funny noises, made whatever funny shapes, looked however I needed to to get where I wanted to be. So just throw yourself in because that's how you will improve quicker. And it took me until my second or third year to kind of really get the hang of just being vulnerable and open. And when I did that, my improvement accelerated at twice, three times the speed. This one's really hard not to do, <laughs> but try and avoid comparing yourself. It's really hard when you see other people doing things that you're doing and they're doing a lot better or they're doing it in a way that you really like and you can't seem to do. That's okay. Every single person's different. 
Every single person has had a different journey to this point. Every single person has got different skills and attributes and qualities that make them who they are. So know what yours are, embrace yours, and try and avoid comparison because it's like comparing apples to oranges. When people say, oh, I didn't get signed with the agent, but one of the other people in my class did, I'm like, Jessie J and Adele could have been in the same class, for example. Both performers, both singers, both wanted to go into the pop scene, but they are so different. Just because an agent wants to sign Jessie J, it doesn't mean that Adele's not really talented. It just means she's different. So be careful because sometimes you're comparing apples to oranges. You're not all gonna be put up for the same line of work. You're not all gonna be represented by the same agent. You're not all gonna represent the same career journey. So be okay with that. Be okay with being you and try and avoid comparing yourself to other artists because we're all unique and that's what makes us great artists. Don't forget to do independent learning. This isn't something I particularly did outside of my studies other than things that were set. If we got told to go away and find rep songs or find a monologue or stretch, I would go and do that but I didn't take a lot of time for independent learning. So take that time to learn as much as you can from everything that's out there. There's so much free content out there that you can learn from. So take the opportunity to learn from all of those, but not only learn about being a performer and the industry and technique, but don't forget to learn about self-development. Because since I've graduated, I've invested a lot of time in self-development. And I think now if I'd have had the knowledge about myself that I do now, training would have been so much easier. So learn as much as you can in the self-development realm and the business realm, because that's just as important as the performer technique and knowing about the industry. And you'll get most of that from drama school or from performing arts college. You still should definitely do your own research on it. Um, because there's so much I've learned since then as well in that field. But definitely look at things like the business and the self-development side, because that's not where you get trained and they are so beneficial. Have a great support network around you. It's so important when you've got long days, when you're doing things that are so exciting, but also very physically, emotionally and mentally demanding, you need to make sure you have a really good support network around you. So think about the people and the atmosphere you're letting yourself be in and think of how that can help you rather than hinder you. Sometimes people's energy don't always help. So think about what you can do and who you can surround yourself with so that you're in the best place possible to maybe even help others, but to help yourself and to help get the most out of your training. Just make sure you've got a really great support of people around you that not only make the good times better, but also help you make the hard times easier. Be proud of yourself. Think about how far you've come already. You have got into this training facility because you have worked so hard. You've put in the work and it's paid off. You've made yourself a better performer. You have sacrificed, you have worked, you have stayed disciplined. And not only that, but you're also really talented. Like give yourself credit, you are you. And the reason you've got in is because you are you. You are amazing, so remember your worth. I know it's really hard in a room full of also very talented people, but remember you have got a talent that not many people have. You will have abilities and skills that not many other people in this world do. And that's something special. And no one else is like you. And that means someone needs to hear your story as an artist. So remember how worthy and how talented you are and how far you've come. That's all because of you. So give yourself a pat on the back. Enjoy the experience. This is such an exciting new chapter and it's the first step in your professional career. So I'm super excited for you. I'm wishing you the best of luck. Soak it up like a sponge. Enjoy every single second of it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this episode has been of help to you. If you know anyone that's going off to drama school or performing arts college, be sure to tag them in this video or share this video with them. 
I'd love to know how you're getting on, so please do feel free to update me. So enjoy your time away, and thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn the notifications on, so anytime a new video is posted, you'll get told about it first. And um, yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for taking the time out of your day. It's been a pleasure, and I'll see you again soon.